Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing different solutions for D&D background music and ambient sound effects. Now, in this video, we are going to be discussing three different solutions which I've found to be the best of the best. And remember, if you do end up enjoying the video, then please hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Welcome to D20 in Disguise. Alright, so to start off this video, I'm going to be laying out the three different solutions which I found to be the best for D&D ambient background music. These three solutions are YouTube, TabletopAudio.com, and Sirenscape. Let's start with the simplest and probably most recognizable, YouTube. So the first and easiest option is YouTube. All you have to do is just Google D&D ambient background music on YouTube and hundreds of different options, if not thousands of different options, will show up for you to choose from. Now, let's list out the quick pros and cons of using YouTube for D&D background music. The pros of YouTube are very straightforward. It's super accessible, there's bunches of options, and it's very easy to do. Anybody can use this solution. All you really need for this solution is a computer, and you're good. Now let's list out the cons of using YouTube. First of all, it's not very customizable. You get the music which you choose. And usually D&D ambient background music from YouTube doesn't change in style as your story flows along. Maybe your session starts out with being in a small quaint village and then ends up being in a dark, dank keep far beneath the earth. It's going to stay at either one of those tones. You're going to have to choose, do I want more of a dark theme to the music, or do I want more of a light, happy theme to the music? And it is going to stay there, except if, obviously, you switch the video halfway through to another preset video. But that just adds complications. And, of course, you also have to take into account you don't have any background sound effects such as maybe a door opening, or swords clashing, or an arrow being shot from a bow. This adds even more limitations to the customization of using YouTube as a solution for D&D ambient music and sound effects. So I think that's YouTube covered pretty well. YouTube is probably the simplest and easiest to use of these three. And if you're just trying to find a quick solution, I would highly suggest it. You don't have to do a lot of digging. All you have to do is search, as I said before, D&D ambient background music, and you'll find thousands of solutions for you to choose from. Very easy and simple, and probably the best of these solutions for a quick fix. Next, we're going to move on to our second solution for ambient background music, tabletopaudio.com. Let's get right into it. TabletopAudio.com is quite a step above YouTube as a solution for D&D background music. This is because of one simple reason. TabletopAudio.com has pre-laid out and preset different themes. So taking out the example which I used earlier, maybe you start in this small quaint little village and then move into this dark keep. Well, there are probably two different presets on Tabletop Audio which would suffice, firstly, the small village, and then you can quickly switch over to the dark keep. And this is very easy to do. You simply have to bookmark both of them and then switch over quickly. So I feel like tabletopaudio.com is definitely the solution if you want to go just a step above. So let's list out the pros and cons of tabletopaudio.com. The pros for TabletopAudio.com are actually quite extensive. Firstly, it's quite easy to find what you're looking for by just searching through their library using keywords. Secondly, they cover a wide variety of genres, from horror to sci-fi to fantasy. 
you can almost always find what you're looking for. Now, the cons of TabletopAudio.com are kind of similar to YouTube's. It's all about customization. You can't really customize the type of music which you have. You have one selection, and on top of that, the sound effects are quite limited on TabletopAudio.com. So it is better than YouTube, but it still has the same problems, just to less of an extent. So let's move on to our third and final solution, Sirenscape, and what I personally use myself for sessions. Let's get right into it. So, Sirenscape differs from YouTube and TabletopAudio.com in a few ways. Firstly, it's an actual application which you need to download. Luckily, it's free, you don't have to buy anything. But this does help in a few ways. Firstly, you can design your background music offline. You don't have to have an internet connection to do it. Which is one way which it's a bit better than the last two solutions which we've already discussed. Sirenscape is also unique for its interface. You can design different combinations of sound effects and ambient music, and you can adjust the levels of each of these sound effects or layers of music and combine them into different presets which you can just hit with one button and it will automatically go to what you've already designed at the levels which you've set them to. This is quite nice because even with a small selection of sound effects and music, you can make quite a variety of environments. For example, in Sirenscape, I was trying to design an uh, outside desert feeling with the wind howling in your ears and the sand spraying at your feet. Now, I didn't actually have a desert preset, so I was able to take a howling wind sound effect from the Witchwood group and maybe some sandy footsteps from another preset and smoosh those together and take a few other presets there, some sound effects, some music, and I have exactly what I want while maybe not beginning with exactly what I need. Truly, Sirenscape excels in customization where TabletopAudio.com and YouTube kind of fail. Now let's quickly list out the pros and cons of Sirenscape. Firstly, you have an insane amount of customization, you have an application format, so therefore you can design background presets offline, and you can design extremely complicated custom presets and then activate them with a click of one button. Now let's list out the cons of Sirenscape. Firstly, it does take up space on your computer because it is not a website. This is the drawback of it being an application. And some of these audio files on Sirenscape are quite large. So perhaps on the iPad, which I use during sessions, it does rack up on space on that iPad. So I have to be careful. Another con is that if you want to go beyond the free presets and sound packs, which they start you off with for free, you're going to have to pay money for individual sound packs from there on. So it's not completely free. Now, I personally make do with all the free sound packs instead of purchasing anything, but obviously that's another option if you want to go that distance. And truly, their sound effect library, including all of their sound packs which need purchasing, is a very large library with a multitude of different environments. So I would also list that as a pro in my personal opinion. So now that we've discussed these three different solutions for D&D ambient background music, let's go through all of them and by looking over the pros and cons, see which is in the end best. Let's start with YouTube. YouTube is truly the beginner's tool for D&D ambient background music. If you are a beginning GM and you want to add just that little bit more depth in the way of ambient background music, I would definitely say go to YouTube to start off and if you really enjoy it, then go from there. Truly is the tool which anyone can use and it's extremely easy to do. It's just one YouTube search, just one click onto a video and you're set. Now tabletopaudio.com is kind of the intermediates tool. If you think you want to go a little bit beyond 
D&D ambient background music from YouTube, then definitely tabletopaudio.com is your solution. And truly, this is a very diverse tool. From horror to sci-fi to steampunk to fantasy, it has anything you could hope for, just with a little less customization. Now, Sirenscape is truly the frugal GM's friends in the way of more professional tools. You can really make do with the sound packs which they give you for free, but if you want to add on to them, you can make a purchase of maybe two to three dollars and buy a sound pack which you may need for a specific situation. It's a very versatile program and you can really create anything you want in it. So I think we covered solutions for D&D background ambient music pretty darn well. I feel like we covered three different good solutions for different levels of GMs. One for a beginner GM, one for an intermediate GM, and one for a frugal, more professional GM. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And by the way, there is a very large and special project coming up, and it will probably start coming out for Miniature Menagerie around New Year's. I know that does feel a long ways away, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. It's a very large project which I'm definitely looking forward to and I'm already starting to work on so it is going to take me a while to finish this project. But I think in the end it is definitely going to be worth it and you all are going to love it as well. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Keep on creating and I will see you in the next video.